Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see.
dogs. These folks are done with these. Rooker, I mean, still lives. What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you.
dispatch. Oh my god. But everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. We will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the replay! tried to kill the father. I should be getting my eight hours not walking around in the dark. God protected him just as he'll protect us as long as we trust in the father. I'll do anything he asks of me. Listen, if 
Thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Check inside the door. Okay. Don't you 
my children, we must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. closed. It means the phone line's been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and Fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. The smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. 
You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away.
that's been squirreled away. We'll go take a look.
I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. Lend a helping hand. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the two of you should head to the forest research station. Ghosts been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. The cult's been creeping around the island for weeks. Looks like they're trying to set up a base of operations at the old ranger station. Gotta take what the dead don't need. Just enough of a breeze today. Feels good.
Getting a better angle. Jacob Seed, 
oldest brother of that fucking family. Jacob's the one training the cult, and he's damn good at what he does. Eli and the white tail militia been trying to hold out, but Jacob's ready to step on their necks. Southeast of there, you got the Henbane River. That's Faith's territory. The little sister. I've heard all sorts of stories about people losing their minds in a place called the Bliss. Now head west to the Holland Valley. John C. has just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. I'm picking up plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. centers. Every one of us. You, me. Even the father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes, I am a sinner. Yes, I wish to be unburdened. Yes, I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate.
they want. Even people. John C. just forced them out of their homes and making them join the cult. If folks refuse, well... Let's just say they ain't treated well. Worst of it seems to be centered around Falls End. So I'd head that way.
with his love.
As you can see, John C. is making a lot of people suffer right now, and quite frankly, I can't keep up. These people need me. They're my responsibility now. But that just means keeping tabs on the resistance is being that much harder. When you get a chance, head out east and check on our people at the Woods and Pig Farm. I haven't heard back from them in a couple of days, and that worries me. We can't afford to lose a single one of our fighters. Some balls rolling into town like that. Most folk take one look at Eden's Gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. My dad was one of the first to stand up to him. Anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble, dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. He called it the Widowmaker. Those fuckers stole it from him a week before he passed. Shit. You really want to piss off the cult? Get the Widowmaker back. Show the cult we're not just gonna roll over. And give the folks here something to cheer about. It's locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. Hey you, in the kitchen.
Back to square one, I guess. my truck. It's a big place, though. Might want to check and see that everyone's accounted for. Great. We should great. probably get moving. Can you help me out? Hello. This is... God damn it, Junior. This thing even recording? Yeah, it's on. You're doing a great job, Daddy. I know I'm doing great. You come from my goddamn gonads, son. I don't ever got you. Am I glad to see you? Great job getting this place back from the cult. A squad tried to defend the garage, but they were too much for us. We got caught and they locked us up. They were gonna decide if we go to John, Jacob, or Faith. If you could sweep the area and free the rest of my squad, I'd be obliged. I just need a bit of time to catch my breath. Boasting about your preps is asking to be looted. Damn, I can build my own levels. I hear 
this is where the cult maintains all their goddamn cars and trucks. Want to get your mind blown? Try this game. I don't care to think what they'll do to you if they catch you. Shit your arm does to you. To get you to say yes. Man, this, this is sounds the most awesome game I've ever played. We're in big trouble. Firepower we grew up with. We get a lot of the good stuff from Ray and Peggy. Sounds of bitches. I think you're making. Come here, hurry up. No time to waste. Thanks. The truck's not here. We're keeping these digs thanks to you. Settle down here. Shit, deputy, I'm ever glad to see you. Your Dutch has been talking my ear off about how you've been taking it to the cult. So maybe you can help me. Peg has attacked us at the Silver Lake trailer park. We managed to fight them off, but those fuckers are everywhere. Came down here to fetch my ride and raise hell. But they must have taken it. They took the fucking death wish. It's got an M60 loaded onto it. We gotta get it back before the cult goes around making Swiss cheese out of everything. Thing guzzles gas the way I do beer. If we're lucky, the Peggies are filling it back up. Check the Golden Valley gas station. It's the closest one. Good to know. We all thought Larry was crazy, but he saw this whole mess coming. He'd been screaming for years about some kind of invasion. Might be worth going to see him to find out what else he knows. Good news for conservationists. Potentially bad news for fishermen. The Department huh? of Fish and Wildlife will be funding a new tag and release program for the endangered white sturgeon. Anyone found to have The cult really fire, wants to I find wouldn't go back out on the road if you paid me. Or well, catch one maybe if you paid me. Back. Carry a gun? This one? No. Don't seem very worthy. It is not for us to judge. Deliver them unto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. We must wash away our past. We must expose our sin. We must atone. For only then may we stand in the light of God and walk through his gates unto Eden. Not this one. This one's not clean. Cleansing, John. No, Joseph. You have to love them, John. 
Do not let your sin prevent that. Bring that one to me. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. Or the gates of Eden shall be shut to your jar. Yes, yes. You will confess. Every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. <sighs> then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. Right away, we'll be okay, right? No. He'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, and you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off of you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Oh. 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 Oh.
Times when the real hunters make their see you, bud. Come on, bud. Sir, good day to you. Nice to see you, bud. trouble when we couldn't reach you. I'm glad the Lord pointed me in the right direction. We got you back, but there's still others that need our help. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them if we're gonna pull this off. Bear's good, the next so long as it hasn't been eaten made itself. How is it that the fat politician in his guilty office can dictate to the starving farmer what he can and cannot sell? Who is to blame? The privilege. They mock us, sneer at us, push us to the gutter and expect us to bow to them. Praise them, elect them. I do not come from privilege. I do not come from wealth. Help me. I was gonna die. Thanks. I'd be dead if it wasn't for you. Thanks. Help me! Fuck! Humanity is reaching the floor.
These Peggy's are really fucking determined to get us in John's bunker. God damn! Thanks, Deputy. Deputy, we sent in a chopper gonna... to pick you up, so just hold your ground until it gets there. Uh, look! A flare! More Peggy's are gonna be here any minute!
settle up. I'll drive. The cult found out about the bunker full of guns and dope.
smoking bullet holes. Sweet, sweet vindication. You're a natural, kid. The death wish is yours. A wild coyote such as yourself can do a whole lot more damage to the cult with it than I can. Say hi to Dutch for me next time you see him, will ya? Lord, stroking Jesus.
Didn't scratch it too much, did ya? I gotta say, Deputy, seeing my dad's truck rumbling home sure brings back memories. I'd stand out here every time he came back, just like this, waving him home. You definitely got the grit to handle her, and more importantly, you got the heart. My dad would have liked you. If you ever need to use the Widowmaker, you don't even gotta ask. In the meantime, I'll keep my ear to the ground. If I hear anything that's worth your while, I'll let you know. Thanks again, Deputy.
spark in the resistance. Those people are stronger today because of you. Just like the story of David and Goliath, you're inspiring real courage. Keep it up.
confess, this is the will of the Father. My men are coming for you. I'll see you soon. Good job. We held our ground together. John is fucking determined to sink his hooks into you, deputy. Now, I know you got in by the skin of your teeth last time, but don't underestimate this bastard. Touch out. Looks out to you in a big way. Take it down to normal, Lucy. You feel any different after being baptized? You don't look any different. Take it down to normal, Lucy. Ain't easy. up all the dogs in the county and sending them north. I tried calling Ray Ray to warn her, but she won't pick up. John says bring your aid to Deputy Ryan. Just like it's her kid. father take them to john he's ready to hear their confession
for you, deputy!
on their sin. Let your sin consumes you, blinds you to all the harm you inflict. It allows you to dispense of human life so easily. Have you ever given so much as a second thought to killing? Drive the sinner from this place. Let them run. Let them hide. For no matter where they go, God will guide us to them. See? That is the power of yes.
Not now, damn it! Not now! God, I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch, John C. You see them Peggy's take off of my plane? I need it back. That was our only chance to get now. I'd go myself, but my wife's pregnant and due any second, and I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, without that plane, we're fucked. Please, I, my family needs your help. I'm sorry. I don't like getting emotional. Name's Nick, by the way. Look. If I know the cult, they've taken my plane to John Seed's range. It's got the only other airstrip big enough to land the thing. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm desperate, partner.
Seven chance of getting cold as one of our snipers surrounded at Lamb of God Church. Grace will kill as many as she can before they can get her, but she's gonna need help. Wicked things. Those you scar too deeply, they will heal. They will become carriers of your sin. They will spread that sin to others. Damn, it's getting cold. I've seen your death. We almost lost the outpost there, thank you. I'll show you what a real patriot is! Gonna take care of this myself!
my god. Oh my god, look at her. Son of a bitch, you did it! You did it, thank you! Kim! The plane's back! Yeah, I'm right. Hey, come on, let's turn her around. Come on, grab on. <laughs> you know, this is the first time in a long time. I feel like shit's actually going my way. Those damn Peggy's. Jim, come on! Please tell me they didn't fuck with her. You know, this plane's been in my family for three generations. Do you believe that? Kim, you coming? Yeah, I'm coming! I swear, that woman sometimes. Anyway, my grandpa first got it when he got back from World War II. It was his pride and joy. I made a few modifications over the years. Kim, would you just hurry up? What? Motherfuckers, they just won't let up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm better in the air, but you are a fucking beast on the ground. I'll hit him high, you hit him low. What do you say, partner? Hoorah! Jim, you stay inside till I get back!
don't understand. Don't understand what? That they're stealing our land and kidnapping our friends and doing God knows what else? Kim. Nick, your grandfather built this place. You really want to turn your back on that? And what about all the times you talked about handing off the business to our daughter? Oh, I talked about handing off the business to our son. You've seen the ultrasound. It's a girl. Well, that was on a messy black and white TV screen. You know them things ain't reliable. Nick. I love you. <laughs> Me too. Well, deputy... Looks like the Rye family's digging in. Hey, listen, if you need any air support, you give me a holler, hey? You and me, you'd be like Butch and Sundance. Nick, they both died at the end. Ah. Uh, please take care of him.
Not moving. Gonna get a better view. I already gave them everything. Roger that. I prefer peace, but if trouble must come, let it come in my time. My children can live in peace. Great fucking idea! We've got company. Go metal shot. I'm in position. I've gathered all your friends here in Falls End to atone for your sins. You're welcome to join us. You saved us. If it were for you, they wouldn't be in this predicament. This is your last chance to say yes, deputy. I'm dead. Don't be late. I'm hearing reports that the Colts be up the defenses and all of their outposts countywide. Watch yourself. Appreciate it. Felt like this is Afghanistan.
Hold still. It's supposed to say wrath, not rat. Sin must be exposed so it may be absolved if we hide our sin. We hide ourselves. You will not hide any longer. Your true self will spill out on this floor for all to see. Ah. If Muhammad won't come to the mountain, then bring the mountain to Muhammad. Let's begin! I thought a friendly Thanks, face sir. might make your atonement easier. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. <sighs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. To those willing to atone for their sins. To those willing to atone for their sins. Will you, Nick Rye, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, Nick Rye, oh, fuck that? No. I never given in to that psychopath. There it is. Greed. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I will Tom. Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. Say yes. It's just one word.
together! Oh! I'll take care of Nick. Go! Go! Go with me and finish this! Come on, Deputy! Great job, Deputy. This gas will keep the Resistance patrolling for a good while longer. And if what I heard's true, we're gonna need it. Calls to put out some nasty truck on the road. They've been figuring out a way to reclaim the roads ever since we took back the Widowmaker. I'll keep you posted. Start the healing process. If we hit a piggy roadblock, be careful. We got live fire.
salvation and you threw it away. Look at what you have done. Look at the wrath you have wrought.
What if Joseph is right? Did you ever stop to think about that? Everyone thinks he's crazy, but he's not. Look around you. This world is on the brink. You can feel it in your bones. Look at the headlines. <laughs> Look who's in charge. <coughs> you want this key? Because you think you're saving people, but they are already safe. We had a plan. You don't understand. You don't believe. You don't care! <laughs> May God have mercy on your soul. Just think, in the 80s, these things could shoot a rocket that could level St. Petersburg. Stop here! I'm moving. I'm gonna get a better view. Bunker access granted. Lockdown disengaged.
Just like the father said! Be merciless! Go, go, go! Stand your ground! Show this deputy the judge! We want the deputy! Peggy started scrambling around. All the doors started closing, locking us inside. I, I, I thought I was gonna be down here forever. All, all because of him. Him. That fucking piece of shit! He would come down here and he would just stand there and watch. We were begging for mercy and he would just fucking watch. other people down here with me. <clears throat> we are gonna get them out. And then we are gonna burn this whole fucking place down. Help me. Or stay out of my way. Come on, we gotta get to the control room. It's the only way we can unlock the rooms and free the others. I wish I had my guns and equipment. Every gun here feels off. Isn't there a town that needs saving? Emergency doors are unlocked. Going for the kill! What are they gonna do to me? Make way!
every last one of them out. to another control room. I can't free the locks from here. Rook, find the other control room. I can't believe you're standing there. Okay, keep an eye out. I just lowered a platform from the missile launch silo. Should get you through to the control room. You'll see a bunch of consoles. Destroy them. Shit, Peggy! Thank you. 
failure. God damn! I ain't never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I knew he saved you for a reason. Hey! You gave us something back we thought we'd never have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Hey. That was a hell of a job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. And if you ever need anything, just let me know. A seal has been opened. My brother John was loved by few. Feared by many. Misunderstood by all. Except me. John was not born a monster. He was just a child when our family was torn apart. He was loving, kind and full of joy. He was easily preyed upon. John was not perfect. And sometimes he was not even good. But he was my brother. And those responsible for his death will be punished. I promise you that.
great job, Deputy. You just did some serious damage to the cult's firepower. I'm talking irreversible. Cults can be a lot more careful knowing they've been neutered. That ought to help the resistance. Way to show them. Thank <laughs> you.